Right, good morning everyone. It's uh, actually a very nice day here in Waihee this morning. It's very still, a little bit of cloud, but I think it's meant to clear up. So I'm just at the heifers here. So we've got 16 heifers left to carve. Um, but bear in mind, we only had 27 to start with, so we don't have many to go. So officially we start carving tomorrow. So that's going off our mating date. So we started mating on the 15th of October. So that makes us the 25th of July start. So yeah, uh, so we've got 35 cows in. I haven't been to the the spring as yet. I know there was one there yesterday, so I would imagine there'll be some more. So we're just going to um, dust these girls break, put their hay out and reset the fence and we're done here. So it's nice and easy not having any calves. Yesterday there was three calve over here, so that was a pretty big day for the heifers. So we're planning on sending milk on Friday and I was just, I hadn't really thought about it that much, but I actually need to draft milking cows or the milkers today because tomorrow I'll be putting milk in the vat for the first time. So um, yeah, so I need to draft them. Also need to wash the plant, make sure it's all sweet and wash the vat. It's, it's clean, but always give it a wash before we send milk. So yeah, so there's actually a few things I gotta do. I didn't really, um, think about that. I also wanted to draft some springers today because they're finishing a paddock and it's a good time to bring them up to the yards, draft out a few more springers, you know, just, it's just convenient. So yeah, a few things to do, but that's life and that's, that's this time of the year. So I'm just grabbing some more dusting. I need some dusting and then we'll go and do the springers. Oh, I've got to get hay as well. Looks like it'll be a quiet today. It looks like just one at this stage. So that's the one that I carved last night, number 88. Patiently waiting. So there we got another one just under the hedge there. Biggest day that we've had, we had eight a couple of days ago. So it's a pretty good number. So there's one, four, five, right there. 
And we're after 88. She's right at the east of Bagata. She knows. Where you go, Egypt? So they can just wait there while I go and reset the fence. All right, so that's all reset. How many replacements we got? Uh, I've got tagged. It's 13. Now there's 16 up today, but three of them are boys, so. 13. 13 animals. 13 animals. Wow. 14 now. Oh, 14, yeah, another one came in. Today. This one here just came in. Uh, so this one, this one here is out of the twins. One of the twins. She, she didn't have twins, but she looks identical. So Miriam's gonna have her as a calf club calf. Actually, Are you gonna DNA one? I DNA them so they can actually go outside. Um, Look at there. So white. So white. Where's my DNA? Good. Oh, it's still long enough. So we DNA all of our calves so it, um, they get the, the correct mothers and our whole herd is gene marked, I think they call it. Yeah, they're all, all, tested. all tested. So have you fed them all? Yep, they're all fed. Okay, give me a hand to row up. So Sadie's calf club calf had a calf yesterday. And then that's my brother's short horn and then there's the twin that's had the calf there you go girls So I got my list of cows. So these here are the ones that are gonna get drafted into the milking mob. So we're gonna have how many is there? There's three, six, nine, twelve, three, four, six, nine. Sixteen milkers. And then tomorrow there'll be eight getting added. So on Friday morning when we milk again, there'll be another eight. So there'll be uh, 24 milking cows. So um yeah, I think I estimated we'll send probably around 500 litres or something like that. So, yeah, I like to get as close to 400. Um, yeah, just means you're maximising, you know, like it's efficient. You're not putting any milk down the drain. So, yeah, so it's time to get milking now.
All right, so that's the first draft successfully done. So these cows here are going to be going in the vat tomorrow morning. And then uh, out of the Colossians, there's another eight joining them for Friday morning. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, going well. Got a good bit of colostrum in here. It's great having the uh, chilled vat for um, putting the colostrum in. It just makes it last a bit longer. So while I got the water going through in the cache, I'm going to get the the late bob in, which are right there. I'm going to bring them in and roll up a fence while I'm down there because I'm pretty much maxed out on. Um, temporary fence at the moment so I need that fence to set up for the milkers who are standing on the yard there so yeah so I'm going to bring them in so I can get that fence put them on the yard set up a fence for the milkers while doing the wash up and and then I'll start drafting some springers out so yeah it's a bit of a juggling act once the heifers um, are finished then we'll have all those reels available and once the late mob gets combined with the springers, which realistically, a couple of weeks, not even that long, and they'll be combined. It doesn't take that long once you get started. So this is going to turn to crap. We took this crossing out here when we fixed up that culvert. We've, we've been going to put another crossing back in, but haven't done it yet. Mm -hmm. The super thing is when the cows go on that side, they don't like crossing the stream. So they've got to come up here and go out that way. There is a gate over there I can open, I might have to yet. They just get a bit silly in here. Hey go! Once they start moving they'll go. And they are crossing that stream thankfully. There's a cow been ridden. 26. Might be empty. Play go! Come on up you go! There's a calf up there. I'll come back and get him shortly. Go girls. Just making sure the plant gets a good wash. It's getting a bomb wash today. There they go. Hi right, girls, there you go. Well, they'll be happy for the day. So yeah, tomorrow morning, these cows go into the vet. I'm just getting a quick bite to eat. Need some food. Some rice bubble square, sounds pretty good to me. Mm-hmm. Papa's not on properly. Hey, Suki. So that's the twins' calf I was pointing out earlier. Looks exactly like them. And this here is Sophie's bull. And this is calf of calf. Had this bull, so we've kept it. Because it looks exactly like her. 
And that there's a new breed of calf. That's just a fluffy one. Mm -hmm. hey? Nice weather to be outside, eh? And this is a mm -hmm. early white face. Came a bit early, it's quite small, but it's alive. Alive anyway, well. Mm. Right, so that's the wash up done on the plant. So we're ready to um, put milk through it tomorrow into the vat. Still got to wash the vat, I've got to wait for the cylinder to warm up. But now we're going to draft out springers. Um, there's two, I saw one messing around. I might um, see if I can get a vet out to see if it's empty. There's uh, number 26 and 71 as well as 116 might just see make sure they're in calf because if they're not we could sell them we could do with the money so yeah let's get on with it So here we have the springers drafted. Come on, Randy, go. There you go, girls. The overall condition of the cows is really good at the moment, I reckon. Come on. Get out the gate. Stop going in circles. Randy, go, girls. And then just here we've got two cows that have been suspicious of that one for a while, number 119, but 26 is well ridden. She's got fresh rub mark she's been ridden today come on out you go so I've decided to put the cows or the lakes on the annual so I'm going to feed out uh, a bale of silage each day as they have their break so that should um, prevent um, nitro poisoning so yeah. that's the plan there's a heap of feed in here. It looks really good. So, get this grazed off. Hi, right, girls. Wait up, wait up, wait up. There you go. just fed out that silage the cow that was up here came running down there number 81 and she doesn't look like she's carved she's no other doesn't look you know there's no mess around her vulva so I don't think she's the mother but I'm just gonna check make sure there's no calf up here make sure there's no other cow but uh, I'm not sure where it would have come from 
também. Bom. Seems like a, you know, a full term calf. So I need to go back and have a look in the springers I just drafted and see if there is a cow that looks like it's calved. I didn't see any. When I've just when I've just gone through the lights, I never saw any cows that were freshly calved. So I don't think I would have wandered from the springers because the springers are right there. The calf would have had to cross the stream and then get all the way up the hill, which is actually quite a climb up to there. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with that one. I just thought I'd better make sure that there was no cow that had died up along here. Nope. No dead cow, which is good. So sometimes you have these mysteries. She looks very hollow. She doesn't have much wind, but her vet's coming to check those, so I could just see if there's a calf in that. Or well, I could check it myself actually. There's no mess around her bum though. No cleanings. Normally you see a bit of bloody, bloody mucus or something like that. Back again. Have I had your calf? Is that what you can smell? following me like I've had her calf. Have you had a calf? She looks like she could have. She just hasn't bagged up much. Might have to get her checked. The more I look at her, the more I think she's calved, so I'm just gonna quickly check her. Come on. There you go. I think she has carved. Cannot feel a calf. So I believe she has carved, whether she's actually, you know, slipped very near the end of her pregnancy. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's carved. There you go. Just gonna stick her out here in this little paddock for the day. Well, I just looked up um, that cow on uh, Minder and her actual um carving date was expected carving date was yesterday so i do believe she has carved just not a lot of milk well we'll see what see what she's like in the morning sometimes they look like they don't have a lot of milk but they do so yeah right we'll get this calf down to the calf shed and then deal with the springers so this guy is a bobby calf we do have some of our own bulls and, and sell them. We've actually got four potentially getting sold soon. So that's these guys just out here. They're right there. Um, yeah, so otherwise we had our first sold of Bobby's go this morning. So, yeah. Well, just carry on. What are you doing, Louis? Do you live behind? So the springers are following me. Go and put them in the paddock with other springers and here they come. Let's give these girls another break and uh, that'll keep them happy when the other ones join them.
she's getting close. There's another one just walked down there past me, not far away from carving. So I've just got to reset this fence. And we're nearly done. Carving going all right for you guys? Yeah, not, good so far. Not too many carving? Um, I, last or two weeks ago, I was very busy. I had two C-sections and four Yeah, tractions. Suzanne was there for one. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that was a bit of a hectic one, that one. Yeah, yeah she said it was. It was a bit... Yeah, yeah. But um, no, that cow alive. I cut the stitches out today. Oh. Yeah, I'm so. very skeptical about C-sections, eh? Yes. You know, like, I don't know if I'll do one on yeah, my I'm, cows. I, it's all the conditions have to be perfect. Yeah, yeah that's I what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So ideally it's planned. So so empty. Empty. Yeah. Um, ideally it's planned. So like an ET transfer, like those girls were. Yeah. Um, yeah, that there's money involved. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you you got to do your best to try and get the uh, calf yeah. out, don't you? Correct. Yeah, well, it's like it's got to be a super sunny day as well. You've got to have the right facilities. Yeah. 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 Okay, oh, that's hey. all right. Thank you. All right. She might just be a late carver, but she was being ridden, I remember, at the end of uh, the season. Yes, a new milk test, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was one that got rechecked, but... Yes. And we scanned her as in-calf? In-calf, yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> call her as empty, I okay. can't feel any yeah, pregnancy I... there. Yeah, yeah, no, she's, she's empty. Yeah, that's good. She's, she's an older girl, eh? Mmm. Sounds mm. very stretched out uterus. 19. Oh, not, old at all. not that old. Okay. Well, I'll put both these cows in for the works because they're in pretty good condition and it's pretty good money at this time of the year for any cull, culls. Just there's a demand for meat, so yeah, we'll get rid of those two. Now, finish washing the yard and then it is time for some proper lunch. I got this load of map uh, 40 delivered this morning so I'm going to put the trailer on the John Deere and I'm going to spread some loads on that race that goes over past the cow shed there it's just starting to get a bit thin so it's losing its capping and it's going to get down to that soft rock so we're going to put a put a few loads over there just to build it back up because pretty with the soft rock once you wear through the capping and into the soft rock then you just start getting all these divots where the cows are walking or you know stock tracks so yeah we're gonna get a couple of loads put on and i might even put a load on a couple of patches on the tanker drive which are getting a bit thin put a load on there so yeah i'm gonna take the sprayer off and um get the trailer on so the trailer on just need to adjust these chains which are already set the chains are already set because dad was doing some not that long ago uh -huh, time to load up Um, from the end of the X-Race we'll start. I also spread some of the, the bucket of the tractor just around there. It always seems to lose it just where the tank is uh, turning a bit. So um, yeah, always like to keep things pretty tidy. Well it looks like it's a bit too damp to spread. I might have to just open the chains a bit more. We'll just go a bit more, get rid of that, and then reset for the next load. So the lakes look pretty happy, had a good feed. It's 
springers look happy too. That was a better spread this time. Um, <coughs> yeah, much better. Need a bit more on top here. It's probably where it's needed most, right there. So I need another load just here. so terrible at spreading gravel it just I wanted to stop spreading and so I went down to go in a float and then that put just let it tip up reared up and we lost all the gravel just here so I still want a bit back there turned out pretty good in the end got some more gravel on it this here was the worst but just here was right down to the um, soft rock but yeah we've gone all the way down to the top of that hill there is just, just flattening some bumps out by the morning one two four would have carved she's hiding up by herself and there's one over here which has been laying on the side we'll just leave her she's doing her job all right Anders let's go and pull Ezra out he looks like he's stuck are you stuck Ezra okay right let's get down Right, it's been a good productive day. And this is just feeding the dogs. Hey, and we're gonna be going inside. Okay, and K. Okay and K. That's yeah, they're the same. Right. Well that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you somewhere else on the farm. See ya.